little building there. I believe it's the pump house for the irrigation system. Just up there. Tunnels. Anyway, I'm going to head down to the bottom of this field, and uh, right at the bottom here, there's what we used to call the pond, which is just a drainage ditch, really. But I'll come back when I get here. We are at the drainage pond. Me and my brother and a couple of friends used to come down here. Uh, quite frequently when we were kids. Nothing much has changed. But uh, we're right at the bottom of a hill. So I guess without this drainage ditch down the bottom here, this whole area would just flood. So uh, a lot of, looks like a lot of crap off the trees in here. I've seen this completely dry up at least once. There's nothing that I know of in the bottom of it and it's not that deep either. A few feet deep. It certainly seemed deep when I was a kid, but I was a lot shorter. Anyway, we're at the bottom of the field. I'm not actually sure what they're growing. Looks like the same stuff that's uh, around the fields at my mum's. And, uh, I'm about a third of the way to where I want to be anyway. I should have got the bike on the other side really. Here's that track. of rape seed over there and the dead tree right there poor old dead tree no it's gonna be the easiest side to ride though or we'll walk there we go just to prove I am on a public footpath that's a signpost two signs does that mean I've got a choice of directions I wonder why I've left this corner of this field. You can see it's been flattened, so dog walkers definitely walk. I'm going to try this side. Someone's bottle down there. Anyway, off I go. I'll make a bit more progress. I'm at the next stop, and I'll just come across this. In the middle of nowhere, and there's a tanker trailer. Literally. The road is about a quarter of a mile down that way. Just a farm track. There's another public footpath sign. And if I want to go straight across there to get where I want to go to, but I can't go in the woods though because it's uh, private. But uh, where this track goes, there is a public right of way going through the woods. And that's what I'm heading to. Uh, I'm not sure what this tanker trailer is here for. There is a blue hose coming out of it. Oh, oh dear. Something tells me this isn't one for the road. and shield the mic from the, <laughs> from the wind. Many moons ago, it used to be an old rusty 
just the body of a tank sitting in here. That's the irrigator. I must fill up the tank here for something. We've got something set up. Who knows? Well, that's where the irrigators connect to. Electricity pylons out here in the middle of nowhere and all. Uh, why is there top of the camera on? Yeah, I doubt this is one used on the road because uh, it's got a side light cover missing. Looks like it may have been sitting here for um, a while. Light missing. Another one thing missing. Got jack wheels up the Tells you what it is. Made in 1980. Well, that's the date on it anyway. So I don't know if it's when the trailer was actually made. Someone stole the bulb. I like one. I'll turn that on, see if there's anything in it. <laughs> right, onwards and upwards, as they say. <clears throat> I'm here at the destination. Here it is. Seems like the easiest access is through here, so I'll have a look in a minute. In fact, let's do that now. Looking at those wires hanging out the wall and it looks like they used to be an outside light up there at some point. Apparently the guy that lived here had a generator. Look at it. This whole lean-to is all uh, collapsed. Last time I come here, this water tank was up there. And uh, looking at some of the old, really old photos of this place, this used to be the stables. I think that was the bathroom over there. Chimney. Someone's had a disposable barbecue in here. Some of the ancient electrics. Can I squeeze it? Yeah. Oh. It's definitely not very safe. So, don't worry, the electrics aren't live. Like I said, it ran from the generator. Someone's been trying to steal the tiles. That's where one light was. Fireplace. What's this? Firework. <clears throat> Beer cans. Trying to set fire to the place from the looks of it again. You can see that over there. Another fireplace. My house.
I think this place is past renovating. Plenty of beer cans and shower bottles. Okay. Bit of the fireplace. Front door. When I first came across this place, it was all intact. Swap hands. I'm definitely not going over there, am I? Someone's had some fun with the electrics. There's a, what's left of a light over there. Oh. Master's fallen off the wall. Remnants of another light. And a switch. I presume had a lovely view from here. In case you're wondering, it was an old gamekeeper's cottage, and uh, most of the town knew him. My mum knew him, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely not the safest of buildings anymore. Uh, I'll quick switch up there, it must be for that light. Well, I don't think there'll be anything in the attic because there's no attic access. So uh, I just think that was just a empty void. Yeah. And that's all that stops you from falling down the stairs. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> right. I'm just going to turn the camera off and go back downstairs. Right. I'm back downstairs. Remains of an old gas lamp. That's about it. And the remains of an old fireplace. I'm guessing it went around this far. Hell's bells. Oh dear. On, my, on top of my head. Well, it's time to go outside, I suppose. Metal window. <laughs> About the only door still left. Oh. Okay. Ah, last time.
time I came here, you could access through there, but uh, not anymore. <laughs> I'm not even going to try it. But yeah, when I first came across this place, there was still a whole building, all the windows were intact. There was actually stuff. You know, outside in the yard area, because the gamekeeper, I believe, was still alive back then, but uh, he did pass away and the uh, family sort of emptied the place and it just got left to fall to ruin. We, oh, clever idea, was it? Yeah, you know, this area, uh, I don't know how rotten this is and full of woodworm, I'm not surprised it's collapsed. I can't even get up that end to show you. I believe that was the bathroom in that little area. It's all collapsed. And uh, looking at the state of the ceiling in this place, it's not going to be long before this one follows suit. And then it will just be a pile of rubble to come and visit. Bloodlight. Bike's still there. <laughs> it's a shame, really. But, uh, I think even for renovation work, well, I suppose it is savable as the shell itself is still standing. Game lend. Looking at this, and the pattern on the wall, I'm thinking there used to be a building. And there was definitely a window there, so maybe there wasn't. Oh, that looks like a door. It is, it's a bricked up door. It must have been a door to the stable when that was there. That was used as a stable. And it looks like this area was added on at a later date. Well, that was either a door <coughs> or that was, you can still see the wooden lintel above it. Much as that's a bit wider, I'd have said that was the door and that was a window. Yeah. Last time I came here, you could cut through the hair as well, but not anymore. Oh, you might be able to. shame it's been left to get like this but when it's a good mile or more away from a road so away from any services you know what would you do for electric and water aside a generator <coughs> apart from pay thousands and thousands to have um, water and electricity plumbed to it the nearest road is actually at the end of this track and that's a good half a mile or more up that way to the front again. Ow. Plenty of moles around here. Yeah. Charlie was his name if I remember correctly. Used to be the gamekeeper. Right. Uh. Uh. 
not very deliberately laid in that pattern. Let's go on the track. Oh, it's the old gutter pipe hanging up there. <laughs> Not much use now. See tractors use this path. But, uh, I know um, when I cycled down here from that end, I can see I've been doing a little bit of logging. Look like I've been chopping up small branches. I've uh, got no idea what that is through there. That's, that's been there since I can remember and all. And that old bar thing. I'm not going over there because I'll be trespassing. Technically trespassing over there, but... Yeah, I've been on there when dog walkers have been passed and whatnot. And no one seems to give a rat's ass. <laughs> Anyway, there is one place I want to go have a look at while I'm out and about on my bike, so I actually think, geez, look at that, the original fence is still up. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I'm going to, um, I might take some photos with this because I can do that with this and then head back up the fields and round to my next destination, just to see if anything has changed, really. Um, I'll have another story when I get there. I had to stop and show you this. It's just on the edge of the woods. And there's just... shit, in the middle of nowhere. And uh, I decided to come in here out of the rain, because it started to rain. But, uh, you know, Chunks of metal, big metal box there, old motorcycle tyre, toys, asbestos. What have we got here? An old radio. Probably a shitload of stuff buried under there. Barrel. Weird. Absolutely weird in here. A friend of mine found it. He was messing around on a motorbike. He came in here. Old typewriter. What's this? Ran on batteries, whatever it was. Oh my god, it's an old lights alive thing. <laughs> I had one of them. Another old toy. More old metal. Anything special? Nope. Got something special, I might have rescued it, but it isn't. There's a bit of town's history. What's this one? Cool. I don't know. Looks like an old drinks bowl. I tried to think how long this stuff has been out here, or why it's even out here, or why this hold is even out here. Oh. No, was there a building out here or something? Light bulb. pit maybe. They've tipped over. 
There's just all sorts. Don't know what type of radio that was. I don't think that's going to go again now. <laughs> we think that's a little bit buggered. I'm standing on crunchy metal as well. Yep. Something over here. I think the rain has eased off now so I can move on. That's it. I'm not sure what that would have come off of. It's the right side anyway. Any other clues? Nope. Another bit of the indicator. I bet if you actually got in here and dug around you'd find some stuff. There's plenty of flints in here as well. Maybe it's just an old dumping ground. Nothing worth salvaging, though. Most of it looks scrap. I think most of it is just scrap. I don't think it's. Ooh! I don't think. No. There's nothing in here of any interest or anyone. Right. Onwards and I decided to give that last location a miss. I got there and it was just uh, weeds, basically. What, what to look at no longer existed, so. Anyway, that's why I was carrying the camera in. My little pouch. I've worked up an appetite, so uh, I've got that soaking. I haven't gone a good couple of hours. A good, good couple of hours. It's uh, four o'clock now. I must have left. I think it was about one o'clock I decided to leave. Well, that's actually a good three hours then I've been out. Oh. Might have been closer to two, I can't quite remember, somewhere around there. Anyway, I've been out two or three hours. Uh, I built that before I left. Anyway, staring out the window. Got me dish and plate soaking ready. Because uh, like I said, I've worked up an appetite and a thirst. Whew. Yeah, I've got enough in that bottle. Right, the salad cream I mean, not the ketchup. I'm going to pour myself a drink. I haven't got any cold cola. I forgot to put it in the fridge before I left. Oh! I don't recommend doing this, but I had to rescue the switch. <laughs> if you're going to go into abandoned buildings and rescue things, you do it at your own risk. I don't condone it. So, uh, yeah, like I said, do it at your own risk. It's always good to leave things as it was, but uh, you see the state of that house, it ain't going to be long before that comes down, like the rest of it, so that's going to be probably my final trip ever to there, because every year I go, it gets worse and worse, um, and uh, well, as you saw, People have been trying to set it on fire, and so it probably won't be long before it does actually get burnt down. One way or another, it's going to come down one day. Be it through arson, or just from natural, natural decay. Maybe even both. <laughs> but yeah, you've seen it. Someone tried to set the place on fire. Twice. 
I might add, because in the corner where they've set fire to the floor, that is new. Beside the chimney stack where the burnt paper is, that was there last year when I went in. So, <laughs> yeah, one way or another, that's going to come down one day. So I thought I'd rescue something from it before the inevitable happens. Considering that's in friggin' good condition. You don't get light switches like this no more. It still works absolutely fine as well. You could still use it if you wanted to. Anyway. It was a nice little trip out. Had a look at that little rubbish dump area as well, didn't we? I keep trying to rack my brains to see if I can think of anywhere else. My right eye's gone funny for some reason. It's only when I look towards the left the screen on the camera, so it could be that interfering, is it? Possibly, I don't know. <sighs> right. Should we see if anyone's run before I turn the camera off? One, four, seven, one. mobile number mobile number that might have been mum I should have carried on listening to see what time it called never mind right I'm just gonna let that dish and plate soak for a little while I'm gonna sit here and just rest <laughs> so uh, I'll talk to you later on okay well, I just saw a news article on Facebook from CBS. Um, yeah, I follow a few random news agencies from around the world. Um, but I first just want to say that uh, the only reason this stuck to, in my mind is because of that long debate that's been going on, especially in America, not so much here, I don't think people really give a shit in Britain, to be honest. I will say that for this, for my country, you know, we do seem to be more, a lot more laid back and accepting of, you know, gay people, transgender people, etc. Different people, we'll say, than um, America. Uh, anyway. Um, I believe it was South Carolina that banned um, like trans men from using the men's bathroom they had to use the women and vice versa for trans women they had to use the men's um, you know, that's passed as a law in I believe it is South Carolina I think don't hold me to that because my memory is shit if it's shit, well, my short-term memory is shit. Ask me to remember anything from my childhood, I can remember it. Anyway, one of the excuses given well, that I heard several times was because uh, you don't know if that trans woman is a pervert, so you wouldn't want them in the ladies' bathroom with your daughters. Well, this CBS News article um, said that a 33-year-old man followed an 8-year-old girl into a store's bathroom. Now, that sort of throws the um, trans woman pervert theory out of the window, doesn't it? Because this was a man, full-blown man, you know? Or biological, biological man. 
you know. I hope you understand. <laughs> Don't take offence to that. I am shit at trying to explain things. Um, but yeah. And it's good proof that, you know, perverts exist regardless. Um, in fact, I've never, ever, ever heard of a pedophile that's also a trans man or a trans woman. What the hell are you doing, cat? Anyway, you know, never, ever. I'm not saying there isn't, but I've never personally heard of it. But uh, the point I want to make here is that if a pervert wants to do a perverted thing, they're going to do it regardless. Well, if it's in the man's men's bathroom, the girls' bathroom, out in the middle of a friggin' woods, abduct them off the your child off the street, they're going to do it. And your best bet is, if you want to protect your kid in the bathrooms, go in with them. Don't let them go in on, the, on their own. Because, uh, quite frankly, you don't know who's in that bathroom. That random man you passed on the sidewalk five minutes ago when you were walking to the store, he could be a pervert. Who knows? You don't know, do you? You really don't know anything about any random person out there. So it's always a good idea to be on your guard. Anyway. I'm going to move on to a better story that also come to mind and because it's close to heart as well because I have autism so uh, this Charlotte cop Tim Purdy was called to an incident where um, this student with autism had walked off campus um, He'd been known that he can have violent spurts. Some people with autism can. Um, was also depressed and there was also the possibility of him being suicidal. And this cop um, found him and just sat on the floor and talked to him for a little while. That is it. You know, none of these big tough, tough cops I'm going to bulldoze you to the ground and pin you down and handcuff you, tase you, spray you or bloody shoot you or whatever. You know, all the negative things you often hear about American police officers. He didn't do none of that. He just sat there and calmly built a trust and just spoke to the lad with autism. And that, to me, is a good cop and restores a little bit of faith in the police. Yeah, they can. some of them can be friggin' assholes just because they've got the uniform on. Don't even think about it, I can see you. You might be on my bad side, but I've got a good peripheral vision. I can see you on the floor. <coughs> a lot of people don't believe I have because I've only got the one eye. Near enough, I can see vaguely out of that eye. I'm not blind blind in it, but... To be honest, if I went like that, I probably wouldn't notice that much. <laughs> or it'd take me a while to notice. If, <clears throat> you know, if I suddenly went blind. But What are you doing? Anyway, yeah, moving on. Got the rear brake reconnected. I've um, done some tweaking on the brakes. Uh... Got another gear shifter on it. Eventually, when I manage to find one, running out of left gear shifters, it seems. Actually, running out of gear shifters. If I find any pieces of shit bikes down there that I've got good shifters on, I may have to get them just for the shifters. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but yeah, it does appear to be working. I've got this to go up into the middle gear at least. Uh, so, I'm going to take it down. Take a photo of it. I'm going to just give it a bit of a clean down. Ow, you son of a bitch. And I bent down and the sun just reflected straight off of that top CD, straight into my eyes. Oh, that was nasty. 
I might get that bike downstairs out of my way as well. Uh, I'll put my bike away. I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of the evening. Uh, I haven't heard from Mum by about 9 o'clock. I may give her a phone call just to confirm tomorrow that um, she is going to come into work to make up for not going in Friday because uh, she was in a lot of pain with her mouth and whatnot. Hmm. I may actually have a nice soak in a bath. As always, the front brake works better than the rear. The rear one stick for some reason. It wasn't, but now it's started to. Ever since that went ping and that hit brake lever. <sighs> Never mind. It's only going to be a cheapie. In fact, for how much it's going to go for, <laughs> I think I'll just leave it as it is, to be honest. <coughs> Excuse me. It rides. It goes. goes forwards and backwards, round and round in a circle. Does everything it's meant to do. <laughs> Rear gears work. It stops. The brakes do stop it. So, that's good enough. Uh, as I went off-roading with my Claude, I might actually sell the um, rally I've been fixing up as well. Anyway, I'm going to shut the camera off and uh, get things sorted and I'll be back later. Maybe after I've had a bath. Maybe. Hi guys, it's... Uh Quarter past ten in the evening, I've got some sausages on the grill cooking away. Uh, haven't done a lot apart from sit here at the PC and uh, chill for the afternoon and the evening. I had mum phone me. She's um, going to pick me up in the morning. i just got to give her a ring when I wake up. I'm going to go and... Uh, Draw out the extra five pounds in my bank account tomorrow morning before I go. That'll give me at least ten pounds to spend at the dump. That would be two bikes. I'd rather take the extra just in case, but there may not even be anything there. Who knows? Something might have come in over the, you know, today during the week. Then again, something might not. But, uh, I hope there is, because I haven't got anything at the minute. <sighs> Back's playing up. <sighs> oh, yeah, but she wants to do fairly early. Well, sort of any time after 10.30, so uh, I'm usually awake around about half nine. Doesn't necessarily mean I'm out of bed, <laughs> but I'm usually awake around about 9.30 in the morning. So, uh, yeah, I'll give her a ring uh, as soon as I'm awake. My brother wanted me to take that PC over. Uh, I might. And that reminds me, I've got to find... Um, um, a dual cool processor for it. So, uh, and I've got motherboards up there. I've got the step ladder there. So when I've had something to eat, I'm going to have a dig around up there for all my... Uh, Motherboard has got processors on and just double check them. Uh, and I may actually um, package a few up if I can find a bit of foam or something just to sit them on so the pins don't get bent. Oh, hang on. No, that one doesn't have pins, does it, you numpty? The pins are on the socket. 
Uh, yeah, I might take a few out just to try some random ones, see if we can get his uh, PC to at least boot. Um, I might pick up the RAM that he's letting me have tomorrow. It's a um, eight gigabyte set I'm buying, so it's two sticks of four gigs. Um, and because it's a pair like that, I'm just going to put the pair in my PC and keep the current four gigabyte stick as a spare, just in case. <laughs> and I'll probably find it's the wrong rating of uh, RAM, and that won't work in my PC. Then I'll be utterly utterly pissed off if that would be the case. <laughs> I uh, suppose it wouldn't be too bad because my brother would actually have some spare memory. I don't know why he wants the 16 gigabyte set because uh, I believe the motherboard in his machine can only take 8 max like mine, I think. rolling my sausages around. I hate cooking sausages, you know, I keep turning the damn things. Uh, but yeah, I will take that out of there and take that over tomorrow. Um, yeah, he's at Dad's, isn't he? He's at Dad's most weekends, although he might be working tonight. Uh, more than likely working tonight, actually. And sometimes he works Sundays, I won't know till tomorrow, but uh, he should be back by tomorrow afternoon either way, so uh, we can sit upstairs and just stick the memory in and see if it works. <laughs> I hope so, for him. Uh, I don't know how much I can get done on it tomorrow. I'm going to have to put a Wi-Fi card in it, because he's going to be upstairs in his bedroom, and I'll... it's uh, awkward to run a long old Ethernet cable up there. I don't even think my long ones will reach anyway. So, uh, I've got a Wi-Fi card, I've just got to see if I can find the um, drivers for it. Or, I could get him... One of those little USB ones that I've got on my little Dell laptop that I often swap between laptops. <laughs> um, he could get one of those or I could get him one because they're cheap as anything. That would probably work better than my one. And that'll free up his PCI slots as well. But uh, I don't actually have any other Wi-Fi device, you know. I can't give him my USB one because I'm using it. Because that's the only way I can get that little Dell online. As soon as the onboard one doesn't want to connect. For whatever bloody reason, I don't know. It just won't connect. It works, it powers up, the PC recognises it, it just won't connect. I don't know, it's obviously the uh, Wi-Fi, because uh, my USB one works. So I know it's the, the, I mean the um, onboard Wi-Fi card. Oh well. Turn the bedroom light off for now. I'm going to dive up in that cupboard once I've eaten. And, uh, what not. He pulled my post. That post office was on my town. I've pulled it off because uh, I want to just do a few finishing touches. That's all. I don't know whether it's worth uh, doing an interior or not. Because uh, well, it's going to sit on my town like that mostly. You know who's going to see it, but it's just nice to show that it's got an interior. And it's fun, so I probably will. I could use up a lot of my yellow tiles actually and do a yellow floor. 
So what I need to do is put a floor in. I don't think I need anything in the way of furniture. Well, I might do the um I might do the um the desk area a bit different to that. And then make a proper counter or something. I haven't got another one of those yellow doors though, otherwise I'd have put one in the back, so there was a separate door to get behind the counter. Yeah, it's, uh, that's uh, one option anyway. I'll, uh, I'll have to play around. Anyway, I'm going to call it quits for tonight. So, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's little trip out. It was something different, wasn't it? Uh, I do have, now that the weather's nice, a few other locations I want to go visit. So, uh, again, I'm not sure if I'll get to do them during the week or if it'll be a, you know, another weekend thing. If it be a weekend ride, it'll be on a Saturday. Um, I want to go down to the canal next. Actually, there's several different locations down at the canal I want to visit. The first one is about a mile, actually it's about two miles from here, but it'll only take me, I don't know, ten minutes to get there. Because it's mostly downhill to get to it, so. Yeah, um, because they're uh, regenerating the old canal. It's the only locked canal in Norfolk. thought I was zoomed in a little bit. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and they're restoring it. Because it is a bit of our, it's a bit of our county's heritage there. Um, obviously, it's taking time because it's all volunteers, and they've got to get permission from um, you know landowners to be able to access the um, land to clear the lock, um, the canal. So basically, dredging it and uh, putting it back as it was originally. So it's getting dredged. Where the mills are, because there's a, quite a few mills on the canal, they've been um, restoring the mill ponds, which was the area where, like, the um, old canal boats would have gone in with the goods to unload and load. So um, you'll see all that down at e it's Ebridge Mill. It's no longer used as a mill. Um, it was Cuba and Walker for many, 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 many years, even when I was a little kid. Um, but it's now being converted into flats. Um, it's a bit of a shame to see a building like that get converted, but, as I said to Mum, it's better than them coming along and just bulldozing the whole lot and building modern shit. I really don't like modern stuff. I don't know what it is. I just... Well, no, that's not true. I think I just prefer old stuff. I mean, this building I'm living in is from round about the late 1960s. Well, that design there sort of gives it away. <laughs> it's a very sort of 60s design. All that, all this wall is, it's just a partition wall. It's a stud wall, as we call them over here. It's drywall. You know, it's hollow. Just a wooden frame with um, well, what we call plasterboard uh, nailed to either side. That is it. <laughs> in fact, I think one of the only brick walls in here is this one, and that's breeze block actually, not brick. Uh, but that would be because that'd be a support and wall. And because these flats are completely identical all the way through, downstairs flat will be exactly the same. Actually, I'm not sure if that's brick or stud. Anyway, I'm going to shut the camera down. Get my plate washed up because my sausages are nearly done. That was worth the effort, wasn't it? <laughs> right. Yeah, right, they're not going to burn for a minute.
So um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all tomorrow night when I get back from Mum's and hopefully I've got some goodies. I doubt I will. I always come back from Mum's with something. I won't be buying anything off Biggles because I ain't got no money. So uh, you'd have to keep hold of it. <laughs> The elastic on my boxes that hurt. Right, anyway, see ya. I always do that with my eyes. Bye.